here it is. He said this is a cobra. A dead cobra, of course. So it's just a reminder, there are snakes here in the Philippines. Hi, I'm Jim. I visited the Philippines as a young sailor back in 1985. And wouldn't you know it, taking us later, I learned of my Filipina daughter, Kathy, who sought me out and found me. Today, after recuperating from stroke and trauma, I'm embarking on a journey toward healing and finally meeting my daughter, Kathy, and her family in Guan, Eastern Samar, Philippines. I invite you to come along for the ride. Let's do this. Come on, let's go. Like, subscribe, and share. Hey everybody, welcome back. Uh, Jim here. I'm in my second month here in Giwan, Eastern Samar, Philippines, and I thought this would be a good time for a health update. Um, as of now, I'm actually confined. Um, as of now, I'm actually confined to bed, nursing a swollen foot from a fall in a basketball court. It definitely slowed me down, and my Filipina daughter Kathy is quite insistent on me resting in bed. I am getting cabin fever though, and an occasional foray into town is a welcome distraction. Five. Totally different vibe now I'm town at night. Oh, we're lit up in the back. Hey, little one. <laughs> oh, poor Noah's so tired. He wants to go home. But each time I travel, it Noah, seems to delay my foot from getting healed. And so uh, the doctor was insistent on me staying at least uh, a straight two weeks in bed. And I got about another week or so uh, before. The doctor will give me uh, per permission to to get out and about, but my foot is much better after uh, about a two week rest. So I tested it by going outside, and uh, well, what you know, there's some landscaping going on. Meanwhile, the family dogs kind of just uh, walk about forever on sentry for intruders. Yeah, there was some excitement earlier in which uh, Mark killed a cobra. Yes, a cobra, where Kathy was, uh, was now clearing weeds. A quick peek at it and uh, looks like he bashed its head in here it is he said this is a cobra a dead cobra of course so it's just a reminder, there are snakes here in the Philippines. One of the things you, you got to keep an eye out, there's a lot of foliage here. Pretty nasty looking. 
snake. Other than that, it's quite boring here right now, thanks to my immobility and uh, listening to my trusty rock and roll MP3 player uh, definitely helps pass the time. <laughs> My left eye has glaucoma and I do have access to medicated drops that I can get in Tacloban only three hours away. So far, Iwan only gives access to one of two bottles that I need. So uh, I'll need to make a monthly foray into Tacloban. Thank God and Christina for the air con unit she installed. <laughs> I'm always mindful of uh, not running it too long to keep electricity used down. This electricity is kind of expensive here. All this inactivity is starting to get to me. And I noticed some unwanted weight gain. Hitting on the snack cupboard isn't helping any anyway. All in all though, the state of my health is good. And soon I'll be able to start walking again. Outside that gate, there's a world for me to explore. It's almost time for me to hit the Giwan streets and meet the locals. One more week, just one more week before I hit the road. <laughs>